I have um, something that I was playing around with the other day that I could show um, that I thought was pretty cool. Deal. Uh, All right. There you screen. Yeah. So we've talked uh, a few times about LAPS or uh, the new Windows LAPS or the local administrator password solution. Um, and up to this point, um, and it looks like until at least 24H2, if you wanted to use a custom account for LAPS, you have to create it yourself. Um, so there's always the question of how do we do that? Because um, the two ways that you can use LAPS is by default, LAPS will take over the password or the management of the password for the built-in administrator account. Well, for most of us, we're disabling that account. And so the alternative is creating that custom uh, that, that custom account. But you have to do it ahead of time for LAPS to actually work. Um, so basically, if we look here, I have a LAPS policy in Intune. So I'm going to look at this one right here, just called Entry ID Lapse Config. Uh, you can see I have it assigned to a couple of devices. Looks like it's succeeding right now, which is good. But if we look at the actual configuration, you can see that I have a custom administrator account name uh, called ADM Labs Admin that I'm using here. So how do we actually get that account created so that this policy can take uh, and do what it needs to do for the uh, the password on that account. Uh, a solution that uh, I've come across and, and implemented here in my lab, and I'll show it here shortly, is a remediation script from Niels Cook. Um, basically, what this does is, if we scroll down here, um, we'll take and detect whether or not that LAPS account exists. Um, and if not, then we can have the second remediation script that will go through and create the LAPS account and give it a random password of your choosing. Uh, you can see here, well, I shouldn't say random password of your choosing. The password is random, but you can choose the parameters and how long that password is, the characters that are used, as you can see here in the script. So you can define the length, you can define the, the characters, and then that random password is generated. It's not stored anywhere, nobody ever knows it. Um, but it is enough to get that local account created with a random password, and then LAPS can start managing it. Uh, so basically with this solution, I went ahead and uploaded it into my uh, tenant here. If I go over to my devices and scripts or remediations, and then you can see I have a remediation here called create Windows LAPS user. When we click on that, uh, you can see that you know, it was uh, created and I've had a couple of devices that I've uh, turned on over the last day or so. Uh, so we're seeing success there, which is good. But if I look at the properties of this and edit my settings here, you can see that I have his uh, detection script uh, set up here, as well as the remediation script. And with that in place, that custom account gets created. My LAPS policy works just fine with the custom account. Uh, and, and everything's good. Now, I mentioned with 24H2, uh, what Microsoft has announced that they have been working on. I, I don't know that I've seen anything official that this absolutely will be in 24H2, but I know in some of the insider builds of Windows 11, uh, the, the policy is built in such a way that it should help create this account for you. Um, I haven't played around with that much myself, but we've definitely come across news of that. Um, so we'll see if, if that makes it into 24H2, this gets a little bit easier, uh, but thanks to Neil's script here, um, it's actually pretty straightforward for us to do right now anyways. So kudos on that. This works fantastically. Did not take much effort, I must say. So just wanted to show that off because I was uh, playing with it recently. Um, after, uh, actually, this came out of our uh, user group meeting uh, last month um, where we talked about uh, LAPS, LAPS a little bit. Yeah, great demo. Thank you, sir. Yeah, of course.